<laughs> oh, yeah. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Subnautica. And last episode we did build a... What do we build? I've got... It's been a while and our power is not good. It's mostly because of these filtration machines and nighttime. But uh, yeah, anyways. So what did we do last time? I forgot. Well, doesn't matter. Oh yes, we did build the prawn suit. That's right, we built the prawn suit and the moon pool. A little place, and we I think we said we're gonna call it Bob or something. I don't know, we will see. But, anyways, for today, I was thinking we should, you know, uh, look at. Don't, don't, don't. Why is it all weird like that? Okay, anyways. So, I was thinking, I was thinking, we should look at building the bioreactor. Alright. Reason for that is power. <laughs> That's been the last episode, and this episode has been an issue. And we're running out very, very quickly. So, a wiring kit, free titanium and lubricant. We also need to go and check our radio to see what, who is calling us and what they want. Okie dokie. So, let's see what the radio has to say. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Data bank. Okay, cool. So we have somewhere to go. We have to save the British man. Okay, so can we attach on the bottom? Yes, we can. This is good, yeah? There we go. Oh, poor buddy. Poor guy. It's so, it's so full of farts. <laughs> There's something wrong with him. Don't worry, buddy. We are working diligently to get you fixed. There we go. And there we go. We have a ladder down. Yeah. Okay. So, by reactor, uh, we have to go and get those things. Yeah. My bad. So, let's go ahead and place down our bioreactor. reactor. There we go. Yeah. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. <laughs> in times of despair. What despair? Now I know with the um the thingamabob, the bioreactor, there's a certain fish that will give out a lot of energy. But for now we're just gonna use our food that like that like that and like that there we go now it's active we got 900 power i think that might be watts 900 watts 975 watts and as we can see it is climbing dramatically and we get to see all the things in there what's can we <gasps> new there we go Use bioreactor. Oh, okay, is that what it is? Okay, so it's actually giving us some um, information. That is proper. That is proper, I must say. And let's see if there's any stuff we could. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Everything here wants to eat us, or murder us, or electrocute us, or warp us, bleed us, skin us. You did something, something. Ooh. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. There we go. Grab some of those. And, uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. By the way, actually, we should grab this stuff. That. Ah, see? See? That was needed. But yeah, see, that scared me. Whew. And let us listen to radio once again. This is Life Pod 4. 
We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay, to data bank. Let's look at the data bank. Flotation device active. Okay, at sea level, pods in close proximity radioactive fallout from the Aurora. Northwest. Why can't we produce a damn compass? That's what I want to know. This is something I have to go and unlock. Wah. Oh, I think it did spot us, but it left us alone. What's over here? There it is. I don't think I can outrun it. Oh, I feel very uneasy. Like it's gonna. Oh, no, please, please be gentle, be nice. Got another message. Just want to see if there's anything of value. Oh, dear. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that thing's huge. That thing's huge. Wanna go home? Please let me go home. Where are we? I don't know where we are. I've, I've, where did we go? How did we end up here? <laughs> This must be the front part, which broke off. Alright, radio, play me a message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Sounded like it was speaking out of a toilet or toilet drain. That was weird. I think he's just got some bad reception or something. You know how it is. It's probably somebody who's doing also experiments for their buddy who's a bit special. As we can see, it's very special. Very special. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. And let's see if we cannot increase the depth. So I think we already have this upgrade. Seam of Death Depth number one. So I think can we upgrade it here? Okay, that is that. So at the modification station we should be able to upgrade that to an MK2. Plus two and get two magnetites and enameled glass. Seam of module? Seam of module. Really? Okay. Didn't know we had that already. Go ahead, glass. Enameled glass. Warning. Maximum depth reached. What? Damage imminent. Do we have that upgrade? Passing one hundred. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh crap, we can't access the passing two hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yeah, I did not think that one through. Ah uh, whoops. Tell me this is what I think it is. There we go. Got our magnetite. Okay, that took its time. Just wanna make sure that's what we need. 
Okay, Mark 2, Mark 3. Just grab that. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And now we have Dip Module Mark 2. We can actually throw that away. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and install our new upgrade. Like so. 500 meters. Holy hell. That's good. That's real good. And... Polyaniline. Okay, and... That. And some gold. See here. There's our gold. And what does it require? Ready for pickup? Yes, I know. Ta 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 ta. A wiring kit. Okay. Wiring kit is super easy. It's two silvers. There we go. And let's go ahead and do our upgrade real quick. Now, 500 meters of depth, and we can. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, yeah! Just killed a lot of things in a very short vicinity. It's proper, but it uses a lot, lots of power. That was like about six percent of our power. So let's listen to this message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora, we're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay. That is good to know. So let's go ahead and just repair this guy real quick. But anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna end off the episode here. Thanks so much for joining me here on Subnautica. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.